Now, inside the courtroom today, two families of very different feelings on the ruling. The biological family of Kamaya Mobley finding some closure today, while William's family is hurting after learning her fate. And caught in the middle, a young woman, Kamaya, who chose not to be in court today. Julia Janae is live outside the Duval County Courthouse, and let's talk about the plea of guilty. What convinced Williams to give that, or at least accept that plea in the first place? Well, we don't know exactly what went into her thought process or her legal team's thought process, but we know it did take some things off the table for her. She could have faced a life sentence if this had gone to trial. She's 52 years old now, so it did take that life sentence off the table. And this sentence today of 18 years is actually four years less than the maximum in that plea deal range. Judge Ajo could have given her anything from zero years to 22 years. So at 18 years, she is just under that maximum of what she could have faced today here at the Duval County Courthouse. Well, Julie, let me ask you a couple of questions. First of all, we know that she spent 18 years raising this baby as her own after she kidnapped her. Now for the next 18 years, she's facing in prison. Can she still be a part of that young woman's life? And if so, how, how does she do that? She is allowed to contact Kamaya Mobley, or she was raising her as Alexis Manigo at her leisure. According to that plea deal or at the sentence today, it was something that the biological family, specifically Shannara Mobley, asked for during that sentencing hearing. She wanted the judge to say there could be no victim contact, but Kamaya Mobley is 18 years old, and though she is a victim, she still does have that connection to uh, Gloria Williams and at this point legally there's nothing that restricts Gloria Williams from reaching out to her and like I said she's 52 years old now and legal experts tell me that she could serve up to 14 or 15 years of that 18 year sentence 85 percent is the average that a, a convict typically serves so it that she could be looking at getting out of prison by the age of 68 or 66. And I guess folks are probably wondering if she can appeal. What is the situation with that? Well, when you accept a plea deal like that, unless it's illegal in any way, you can't appeal it because uh, you actually waive your right to do that when you sign everything for that um, for that plea agreement. So in this case, I've talked to a couple of attorneys in this area and they say it's very, very unlikely that she'll be able to appeal this in any way. But we will be hearing more from the reaction from both sides of this case coming up tonight on First Coast News at 6. We're now reporting live from the Duval County Courthouse. Julia Janae, First Coast News on your side.